I'm Rebecca Palmer, buyer at Corney & Barrow, and I'm here today at the Tower of London for Corney & Barrow's 2012 Burgundy tasting. I'm here with Marc Emmanuel Siro from Domaine Siro Butio. Bonne année, Happy New Year, Marc. Happy New Year, uh, bonne nice année, bonne santé, Merci and we bien. hope to have a nice 2014 vintage <laughs> with quality and quantity after the 2012 and 2013 vintages. <laughs> yes, size counts, size <laughs> exactly, does matter. Exactly, exactly. Um, Mark, I'm just going to ask you a few questions yes, um, about your wines. Tell me a little bit about the 2012 vintage and how it was for you, because obviously there were a few issues during uh, this particular year, and it would be interesting for our customers to find a bit more about it. So, uh, I have to admit that now, after one year, we are happy and satisfied with the 2012 vintage. But during the summer 2012, I think that where our opinion was probably a little bit different because um, the beginning of the vintage regarding to the weather condition was not uh, ideal and uh, unfortunately we had uh, a very violent hail storm at the end of hail. June mm -hmm. um, and the damage in the vineyard uh, especially for our estate in Volney and Pomar, yeah. were very, very important. But what happens when you get the hailstorms? What does it actually hit the, the grapes, or is it the leaves, or what? Yes, uh, the grape were damaged. Yeah. Um, everything were damaged in the vineyard, and we were very worried about this damage. Yeah. Thanks God, the, the condition, the weather condition, just after so the beginning in July and August were good uh, and good enough uh, to fight against the damage of this ill storm and um, the end of August and beginning of September were perfect so it means that we were quite happy when we received the harvest because it was in good condition of sure. course we had to make uh, a strong selection right. uh, to keep just the best grape and that is why the quantity of the 2012 was so small and so limited. We produce approximately uh, half production. That's tiny. So how exactly. many hectolitres per hectare does that represent? Um, the, the average on the estate was approximately 22, 23 hectolitres wow. per hectare instead of 40, 45 hectolitres mm -hmm. per hectare, we are producing a normal year. We are never producing a lot because the average of our estate is a little bit old. The, the average, the exactly, yep, approximately yep. 40 years old, which is ideal for concentration and for quality of the, of the grape and then quality of the wine. So we, we did a serious vinification we didn't meet any trouble during the vinification in September um, and then all the wines were matured in oak barrels like all the other years yes, yes. with less quantity. Um, however, the result is now very interesting and um, personally 2012 is a vintage that I like. Um, it is a vintage which is um, already very open. And right. when you are putting the nose Very in the... In, exactly, uh -huh. exactly. When you are smelling it, uh, it is like a fruit bag. And um, it is a very round vintage, well-balanced vintage. And what is nice with 2012, for me, it is a vintage that you can taste now or in the next two or three years with a good aging potential. So your recommendations are now for the for the 2009, yes. no, 2010. 2010 now and during the two, three or four next years. Yeah. And if we can wait the 2009 and begin to drink them in 2018 or 2019, it should be fine. However, um, we are vinifying our wines to be able to be drinkable more quickly than our father or grandfather were vinifying their wine at that time. I think that our wines are probably more balanced now, with um, they, they are able to satisfy the 
the consumer who wants to drink them quickly and the consumer sure. who wants to keep them long time. So the 2012s that we're seeing today in the room, yes. um, when will we drink them? They are tasting already very well now, but I will not tell you to drink a bottle of Pomar today, of course. Uh, it is a little bit too early, of course. I think that if we can wait uh, one or two years, it should be fine. Okay. But as I explained to you, I think that the 2012 maybe has some um, ressemblance, uh, similitude. Um, it it is will resemble. Exactly, like 2010, mm -hmm. regarding to the taste. So I think that we will maybe not have to wait too long time to drink them and to enjoy them. That's not bad. So what's your favourite wine? Just ah, to end. Very good. I can tell you the food. We are located in Pomar, but I think that I prefer the Volnay. Oh. But <laughs> okay. keep it for you, We please. won't tell anyone. <laughs>